Hello everybody, today is Thursday, January 27, 2022. Make sure to check out my Red Pill Film channel today for a review of Inside Job, the Netflix show. So my question for you today is, who are the good guys in conspiracy theory? Because there are so many factions, in, even in conspiracy theory, even in the truth community, even in the Patriot community, there's different factions and not all those factions align together. I've been doing conspiracy theory for a long time and back when it was just ufology, I often wondered if ufology was a faction of it, was a form of cloaked racism and that the alien races that they talked about and the descriptions and characteristics that they gave about the aliens and what they do. I always thought it was like a metaphor or an analogy to talk about groups that they couldn't publicly talk about because it would seem, you know, inappropriate. So they just attribute everything to aliens. Same along the lines with, I think, a large percentage of people that believed that they were abducted by aliens were actually unfortunately victims of sex abuse or other forms of abuse probably by a family member or a close friend and they re replace the memory of the person with a gray alien something along those lines but who are the good guys because again we know what well, we hear who some of the bad guys are some of them are the masons and the satanists and the luciferians and the kabbalists and the secret society members and the occultists so then you know when i hear some of that i'm like all right so maybe the angle is from like a christian perspective but then you start to think about the christian perspective and you realize that you know when they're talking about jesuits and then catholics kind of catholic church gets involved in there so now it's like all right so is this protestants is the majority of conspiracy theory coming from protestants and you're like, well, if, if JFK was a Catholic president and he's the good president of conspiracy theory, then does that imply that all the other presidents were Protestant and that they were all the bad guys? But then you're like, well, Joe Biden's Catholic too, right? So I'm trying to figure, and then it's like, well, no, it's not groups, John. It's just individual people or groups are good with bad people or groups have good factions and bad factions. Think about the force, John. Think about there's the light side of the force and the dark side of the force. And then I went, wind up finding out, I hear like the new agers are the bad guys. And I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute. I like the Celestine prophecy. That's like my whole foundation is the Celestine prophecy. I live to advance the agenda of the ninth insight. So then I'm left feeling like Michael Rappaport after he got the vaccine. Remember he's like, I thought I was going to be some kind of hero. And now I find out that I'm a super spreader. <laughs> and so I'm like, hey man, I thought I was the truthing hero. Come to find out I'm the bad guy? There was, and even to this day, I still think the primary, the conspirators are the communists and the globalists and the New World Order, which kind of seems like it's all in the same. But then when you read about like Operation Gladio, you then say, now, wait a minute. The communists kind of got foiled in their efforts in, in a conspiracy. Like Operation Gladio kind of seems like a conspiracy, but it may have been a necessary evil. But then when you start talking along those lines, you then say, hmm. and then you hear about like the United Fruit Company and all those activities. And so then you realize that all the different economic systems are versions of artificial scarcity, but then... If you go against that, then you're part of the, it's hard to know who the good guys are. It's easy to point fingers at the who the bad guys are. The reason I say the communists and the Fabian socialists are the conspirators is directly from the Fabian socialists uh, statement that they utilize gradualism to enact their agenda. So. They slowly, they're the ones that are putting you, the frog, slow boiling the frog in the pot. And their logo, the Fabian Socialists, used to be 
a wolf in sheep's clothing. And now they've replaced it with a turtle. And so I guess the turtle represents slow gradualism. But slow gradualism, if it's not disclosed, by definition is a conspiracy. So that identifies them as a conspirators. Again, easy to point fingers, but who are the good guys? Well, I guess, I guess it's the Patriots. I guess it's the people that believe in the Constitution. But when you go along those lines, like I saw that debate like years ago of Adam Kokesh against Alex Jones. So Kokesh was an anarchist and he was, you know, punching holes in everything that Alex Jones was standing for. And it was an interesting debate because usually it would be Jones against like a rhino or a lefty. But here you found out that there, there's a whole level beyond AJ's level. And I'm not saying Kokesh is right or wrong or AJ was right or wrong. Again, I'm just always in search of truth. And in order to find truth, you got to find the baseline. You got to find, all right, who's truth? Who's the good guy? Who? Because when you're pointing the fingers, it's implying like that's the bad guy. I'm the good guy. Here's one. Uh, before Obamacare. And again, I don't really care. I think cures should be the health care plan, like just cure things. And, you know, release like the ultimate immunity pill, right? Or release the invincibility inoculation. But the playing sides here, all these sides were against Obamacare. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't want it either. I don't want that because that, that shifts who's controlling everything. But at the same time, this healthcare system that everybody's like saying Obamacare is bad, healthcare that we have is good. It's like, whoa, <laughs> the healthcare system that we have is not good either. So you're faced with two bad options, which then goes to the Hegelian dialectic or always pitting two false choices and not being able to say, hey, what about a third choice? How about in the 2016 GOP primaries? Remember, there was two sets. There was like the all stars and then like that second set that nobody watched. Well, I watched one of them. And I've been trying to find the clip. I can't find it. I, I think it's been thrown down the memory hole. But Mike Huckabee actually said when they were discussing what their plans were for health care, Huckabee actually said, how about we just go back to curing diseases like we used to 60 years ago? And I thought, oh, man, this is going to be plastered everywhere. Nope. Buried down the rabbit hole, down, down the memory hole. We've gone far beyond the five minute mark for this one. Tune in tomorrow for the rest. May the force be with you.